top story tonight. A local lawmaker is firing back at reports that she previously thanked God for slavery. Jacksonville State Representative Kim Daniels says she wants to set the record straight, saying that those words were taken out of context. Cheyenne Cole's on your side, adding context to the story. She's live tonight downtown. So Cheyenne, how did this all even begin? Well, it all started with a controversial new approach to teaching African American history in Florida, including the claim that people benefited from slavery. Now, you'll remember the issue brought the vice president to Jacksonville last week, and it continues to be the big story out of Florida this week. The same issue has also led to infighting among local Democratic lawmakers. Democratic State Representative Kim Daniels making her stance on slavery clear Thursday morning. This week, video surfaced of the Jacksonville pastor saying she thanked God for slavery. She says that message is 15 years old and meant to convey that she's grateful for the ability to overcome obstacles despite history. Slavery as it existed was cruel, inhumane, and an oppressive institution that had roots in the United States, including the Kingsley Plantation in Northeast Florida, and was not a benefit to African Americans. Daniels blames Democratic Representative Angie Nixon and sent her a cease and desist letter warning her to stop talking to media about it. At the end of the day, those are her words that she said that have been spreading across the internet for years. And this just seems like a very uh, unwarranted vindictive attack. Both Daniels and Nixon agree on one thing. The curriculum is teaching flawed history. However, Education Commissioner Manny Diaz defends the new standards decrying false attacks on the new guidelines created by a work group of black scholars. I want the children, African American boys and girls, to understand and know that just like my trials and tribulations that I have overcome, they can overcome. Angie Nixon says she and other legislators are discussing how to prevent that new curriculum from making it into Florida classrooms, but she couldn't provide specifics. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.